All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We just wrapped up the previous recording and we're going to jump straight into more of this game. Uh, he says we're going to see the tavern owner. I wanted to check this out real fast, though. All right, looks like it's just a, a menu, basically. Cool. Looks pretty sick. All right, let's continue on. Let's speak with Quentin. Is this quest destination nearby? You're the kind man who saved mommy. Thank you. I got you. Uh, isn't any like free stuff around here, is there? Uh, lost me. Okay, this is the obelisk. Shop. All right. I guess let's just talk to him first. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. All right, there's a long sword here, but we have better weapons right now, so I'm just gonna kind of skip it for now. Uh, ooh, this is better than what we have, so that's not bad. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab it. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, equip, equip it. Traveler's bands, nice. That's better than I what we have as well. Here. Meteorites and Valley Matter, interesting. This costs a lot. All right, this doesn't cost too much. Interesting. All right. Uh, what is this? Oh. A new song, but it costs 40000 That's insane. It's okay, though. Um, I am going to go ahead and sell some stuff, though, because, yeah. Uh, Imperial Infantry Blade. Eh, it's only 50 I won't sell that. Um, we have this. this quid. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Iron Belt plus one. Yeah. That'll give us a little bit of money back. Price. Iron bracers. Yeah, we don't need these anymore because we Never have better stuff. Me. Badge of might. Oh yeah, I need to equip that still actually. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I guess I'll keep it for now, but we should probably sell this stuff. Uh, dragon talon. Interesting. I don't know if I don't know if I really want to sell that stuff right now, but I do want to sell these potions. Yeah, that'll fetch a good price. Here's what we agreed on. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and Good day. equip that. Uh, where, where is it? Yeah, here. Let's equip that thing real quick. Where is it? Evade attacks. That's good. Timely strikes. Badge of Might. There we go. This is plus seven. I think it's worth it, right? Maybe it's not. Eh, you know what, actually? I think I'll keep what I have. Never mind. Forget that. Uh, yeah, these are fine abilities. We do have 1,061 ability points, so there we go. Um, magic Burst. Could level that up more. Lunge. A uh, stomp. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Oops. Mabi, Mabi. Uh, let's let's charge magic. That seems like it could be good. Down thrust R while in the air to slice down. It's only cost thirty, so might as well. <clears throat> In fact, I'll go ahead and get this and this as well. Just because they're real cheap. Um, we could master this for 250. This is also really good. Um, I wonder if mastering that's going to be worth it. I think this is really strong. Heat wave. We can get a heat wave. Summon a projectile, dispelling wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shock waves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. Flames of rebirth. Burns all enemies caught within the flames. Ooh, that's nice. We should probably save up for that. All right. Anyways, let's continue on. Uh, I think. What can I interest you in today? You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. Maybe not. Maybe he's somewhere else around here. 
Let's speak with Quentin. Who is Quentin? Maybe upstairs? Or it could be someone outside. I feel like upstairs is the way though. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, it's outside, okay. All right, let's continue on then. Here he is, here's our boy. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend, one who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma, as a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. Seal obtained. You accept the hanged man from Quentin. May the mothers guide you. Hmm. All right. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me, everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means. What it means if they don't take note. Hmm. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Alright. Let's see if this thing really works. Gather information from the villagers. Uh, I guess I can't do any side quest right now, so that's fine though. Um, <clears throat> I guess let's head over here first since we're right here. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Uh, how do we get over there? I'm assuming I can go over here, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> and that's all you can remember. Alright. Ah, Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. There I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of who, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you go look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have, though. Thank you. All right. Check out the other dude. Alright, uh, real quick, I want to actually go ahead and change my sword as well. Uh, 
Let's do onion for a little bit. <laughs> it's weird and I don't think I like it, but I'll try it out for a minute. Alright. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today. Getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now. Along with the others. Poor buggers. These others. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. It was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. <laughs> Alrighty then. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Alright, the dead of night. Speak with Quinton. Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <laughs> <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village and failed to remove it when they left. <laughs> I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Alright. Interesting. <laughs> well... That took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. The road south, then? Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Uh, I just want to double check real quick. We don't have any, like, side quests here that we can do, right? I don't think so, though I could be wrong. Alright, make for a care not event, I guess. Can I go this way? Oh, wait, no, I don't think so. Probably have to go up and around. Oh. Hello. The hymns of Gregor, I guess. Not my children. 
Who is this? Oops. Okay. Well, hello. Nothing down here but dust and cobwebs. Unless you really help me get rid of them. Nope. Very interesting. They didn't have to make this part down here at all, but they did. So that's kind of cool. Oh, okay. I guess I could have gone through there, but I don't really need to. Uh, we need to head back on like the kind of main area, I guess. See if we can find a way through. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Guess we need to go back this way then, evidently. Yep, this should be it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything in this area, but I guess we can always travel back here if we need to, I suppose. Come back to me, my darling. I can't bear another night without you. Ooh. Hey, village guard, what's up? <clears throat> if the royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. Alrighty then, what do we have here? The moon. It's always great. something over here. <laughs> Is there anything over here or just nothing? Interesting. Okay. Worth the check. I feel like that's like maybe a entrance to a dungeon maybe later on. I don't know, to be honest. I am not sure. I'm guessing we can't really go in the creek, right? No, not really. This little squad of teens. Hard not to crack, even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. All right, <clears throat> let's continue on. I keep pressing shift just to sprint, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Today? No, I don't think so. Pinches of magic ash. Alright. Quest destination nearby. Not 
much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They got my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. This Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. place reminds me kind of dark souls a little bit not gonna lie <laughs> very cool <clears throat> all right enter care no event all right then i guess let's head straight into it uh for now though i think i'm just gonna go ahead and stop this episode thank you guys for watching once again and we will catch you guys in the next one all right peace